This is Glycon. It's a motion capture system that uses your VR equipment. It lets you easily and quickly do your own custom mocap wherever you have your own VR equipment and save it out for use in games and movies. What you're seeing here is Glycon mocap in Unreal. So let's talk about this next version. There's a thing, a type of inertia, that you can get from working on any project. It's where you get used to working on it and then you lose track of the fact that it actually has to be finished sometime in order for anyone else to enjoy it. I've added and changed so many things in version 40 that I can't even remember what some of those changes were. And when I go through the documentation for the changes, I can't remember why I changed them because the underlying things that I changed them from have also been changed. So today I'm going to send out what I normally would call version 40, the next version. Instead, though, I'm going to call it a beta. I'm going to do one round of public beta testing just to make sure I didn't miss anything. And I suspect that I did. So if you're a registered user, I want you to grab a copy of it and let me know what you think. There is a small list of things that did not make it into this version. And I plan on trying to cram those in at the last second while everyone's testing this version. Additionally, there are some massive changes to the website, GitHub, Discord, Facebook, and YouTube channels over the next few days that are going to reflect the updated product and provide documentation, easier feedback, and a better error reporting system. Glycon version 40 massively simplifies setting up trackers on Vive systems. Uh, it adds and, and fixes an outlandish number of bugs. Uh, it adds a, a number of new features, uh, ranging from audio to... Um, importing other scenes and, and arenas, all kinds of cool stuff. And the bugs range from minor things that have haunted people for years to major things I think I broke over the summer that people didn't want to tell me I'd broken. So without further ado, I'm going to get back off of uh, the videos here and send off the email to all the registered users about this update and how to get it and how to report bugs. And over the next few days, I'm going to try to finish off the known bug list, uh, the, the features that people have sent in, feature requests and get all the aforementioned uh, content online. And then going forward, I plan on releasing a new version of Glycon every week, hopefully on the weekends. Uh, it may be, a, I, I haven't picked a day of the week, but I'm going to try to be consistent every week. Uh, even if it's a minor update, this will allow me to more closely track the very rapid improvements in the motion capture industry and in the game industry and the CG industry and provide you with constantly updated and improved product. Version 40 adds the key underlying parts to the engine to make all of that possible. So thank you very much for your support, and remember to please let me know if there's anything I can do to help you tell better stories faster. For more information, go to glycon3d.com. That is, going forward, the central hub of everything Glycon-related. Thanks. Have a great day.